All right, so we're back. Sorry about that camera mishap in the last one. I don't know what happened. Um, hopefully, it doesn't happen again. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. Do we, let's try the sword one again. It's been a little while. So this is episode five. I'd really, really enjoy it if you guys could. There's always the more squirts to go around. Would make my day. How else am I supposed to know you like this shit? I don't know. I don't know what you people want. Well, though we already messed this one up pretty bad. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Move, 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 move. Got all these things to kill stuff. We have to do it in less than 60 seconds for that one, but I think that's still going well. Yeah, less than 60. We're definitely getting better. That's for damn sure. Whew. Looks like we got another something over here. The Gravers. Nice. They are majestic. They seemed unstoppable. Wow, we got shit tons of blood for that. Okay. Something new over here. The forge. Oh, we're gonna get a new weapon soon. I bet you it's at... So that was called the knife bark, if I remember that correctly. Let's go to the fort. I bet something like that would be called... Named here at the fort. There's only one way to sit there. Holy before. shit! The hard way. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Peter's doing all sorts of good stuff at the moment. Sure, the city marshals may be gone. But now the fort's crawling with windbags. Bullshit.
And boom. This is a great At least Marshall's left the kid a parting gift. Hello. Something the windbags just can't handle. Something that'll punch clean through their greasy hides. Uh this is awesome. But is it better than the machete? Windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay in a decent meal. I don't like the reload time. But the shotgun effect is mighty nice. The calamity drove the windbags topside. A lot of them wound up here in this very fort. Uh, yeah, I knew I wanted to come over here. So between the shotgun and the bow, we're making quick work of this mind in the business underground like in the old days. Quick work of this one. Oh, that's not even cool. It sure can. As for the windbags, Cinderbrick gave them enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the floor like ain't theirs by LA. right. Can't blame them for wanting it, though. So many of those sorry things hold up inside that old fort. was a good pick. Love nailing those power shots. Kids blasting everything in sight with that newfangled musket. A little bit faster. No, I really should work on the shield a little bit. Well, whatever. Shoot the box! Can't stash grenades is there for him, but things get even worse.
security's plane gone haywire. We mags oh, gummed up the works. Oh shit! 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 shit. Okay. Break these goddamn fire pots. Kid ain't afraid to get burned. This music's amazing. At least Rimmit wasn't lying about that. They trapped the kid in the middle of the Fort Parade ground. Something to gain, and only their sorry hides to lose. This is by far the best level. So far. I love this giant fucking just beat him up, blow it up, get it the hell out of here. And we got a new level for that? Nice. Takes down Glutus. Maybe it was Glandon. What did that guy the windbags up? finally get the message. Ooh. That's some tough shit, let me tell you. Hell of a lot of fun. I am. Um, this game is amazing. I love how responsive the controls are. That's that's really what's selling it. Kid used to dream of getting a marshal's badge, but not like this. And now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrick Fort. This is really good. God, that noise is a Kid shows sure. up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Hope that doesn't keep up. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zulf was a smoking pipe. That's a hell of a pipe. Poor kid collapses after just one drag. That's like a bit of opium, right? The past. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. This is interesting. Some jumps. All right, this got busy in a freaking hurry. Trying to explore here, buddy boy. We got time for your bullshit. Pass catches up with the kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. How long does this last? He never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. 
frail thing with pure white hair like his. So that was, wasn't this the world that we were in earlier when we found the Asian guy? Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. I don't want to take those elevators yet because I don't know where this is. Going. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylandia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. Ah, oh, that slime. Once a kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. Looks like we're getting a history lesson here, boys. Whoa! Not a good time for that. Oh dear. Two of them? That's alright. Okay, that's not alright. The city had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found, neither. Bring it! Twelve reflections remain. Oh boy, we're in for a long episode, gents. So what did the kid do? Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years. How old is this guy? Well, better question, how long is this universe's years? Planet, or whatever this is. In the history of Ceylandia, nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. Seriously, guys, go buy this game. <laughs> In time, the kid earned good standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. One night, 
on one of his expeditions, the ground beneath them shuddered, cracked, and split apart. He saw nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened Sorry about just the like that. You guys are getting a longer episode. Can't help it. Oh no! Okay, good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, those bounce now? I really gotta work on my shields, I think. All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. That's a new one. Why'd the music change? Only bad things happen when the music changes. Through twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Whoa! Whoa! We're out of grenades, boys. Well, he finally arrived at Ceylandia's vaunted safe haven. He and no one else. Let's do this. Got three left. I'm excited for the big one. Thankless work from a man who ain't even asked his name. I don't know what these towers do, but I want nothing to do with them. Oh, it's a slow one. Sure, I may be the one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made him real, not me. What the fuck? I got one grenade. I'd like to say I'll never forget him, or what he's doing, what he's done. I surely would. 
How was that? That was awesome. All right. Not bad for episode five, right? I'll see you guys around for episode six. See you.